Xin chào, my name is Amanda and I am a Fulbright English teaching assistant from West Palm Beach, Florida. I currently work at Hongduk University in Tanghua province. So the purpose of this video is just for me to introduce myself to you. So I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about myself and my family. And then I will tell you a little bit about my experiences in Vietnam so far. So I am 23 years old and I graduated from my university in May 2015. I attended the University of Central Florida in Orlando and I studied international relations. So because I like international relations, I also love to travel. Uh, so far I have visited seven countries, including England, France, Iceland, uh, Thailand, Laos, Singapore, and now Vietnam. Uh, an interesting fun fact about me is that when I travel, I like to bring along this special stuffed animal. It is a bald eagle, which is the symbol of the United States, and I bring him to the interesting places that I visit, and I take pictures with him in front of monuments and special sites. So when I'm in the United States, I love to spend time with my family and my friends. Uh, my family has four people, my parents, myself, and my younger sister. We also have a pet dog, and his name is Chance. Uh, my favorite place to visit in the United States is Disney World. Uh, I love to go there with my family and my friends because I love all the Disney movies. In fact, when I lived in Orlando, I used to have an annual pass to Disney World so I could uh, visit there as many times as I wanted. Uh, while I like Disney movies, some of my other favorite movies are superhero movies and action movies. And right now, my favorite movie is Star Trek. Another hobby of mine is kayaking. Uh, if I had to describe my perfect day to you, it would be kayaking in the morning in the beautiful waters of my hometown, and then having a nice lunch on the water, followed by going home to just relax on the couch and watch a movie and eat pizza and popcorn. Uh, I am not a very religious person, but um, in my family we celebrate some special holidays like Christmas, Easter, Halloween. Uh, my favorite holiday though is the 4th of July. I like it because this holiday takes place in the summer, so we get to have a uh, special barbecue and a pool party, and those are really fun activities that I enjoy. So I chose to leave my home and my family for a year to come to Vietnam so that I could help Vietnamese students to learn and practice their English. And also, I wanted to share my culture with other people. I also wanted to experience a different culture that I have never experienced before, and to have the feeling of culture shock. Uh, in the future, I hope to be a diplomat. Uh, so this experience also helps me to gain skills that will help me to one day, hopefully, get my dream job. So living in Vietnam for the past six months has had its ups and its downs, but overall it has been a great experience. Uh, when I first got here, one of the most shocking things was of course all the traffic. Uh, it was also very surprising to see a lot of people with like very long fingernails and things like that. Uh, one of my favorite things in Vietnam is just visiting all the different coffee shops. I like to go there in the afternoon and have a smoothie and read a book or work on some lesson plans. Um, my least favorite thing, however, has been the air pollution. Um, I find that the, the air here is always very hazy, so I really miss seeing like, blue skies and sunshine and, and big clouds. Uh, my favorite food in Vietnam is bún cha, and the strangest food I have eaten was uh, goat's blood. Uh, I did not like it very much, and I probably will never eat it again, but I'm glad that I tried it. So while I've been in Vietnam, I have definitely learned a lot of things. And I think there are a lot of things that um, Americans can learn from Vietnamese people, um, like healthy eating habits, for example. Um, I'm always very surprised here that uh, Vietnamese people often eat fruit for dessert instead of cake or chocolate or cookies things that Americans usually eat for dessert. Um, I'm also impressed that people exercise here every day, and I find it interesting that a lot of people grow um, plants in their homes for vegetables and things like that. 
So I've really been inspired by living in Vietnam, and when I return home, I hope to start my own vegetable garden so that I can always have access to fresh uh, vegetables to eat and to cook with. So thank you for listening to my video. I hope you uh, learned something interesting about me. And if you have any questions, please feel free to tell your teacher, and we can continue our conversation. So thank you. Goodbye.